fish house. At the fish house. This is yeah. Steve Ives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Najib Mansif, but everyone who knows him calls him Juby. He loves video games, baseball, and his puppy, Quincy. Quincy. Juby is on the autism spectrum, and his family describes him as innocent and vulnerable. Now they fear the worst after Juby disappeared more than two weeks ago from his home in Scottsdale on September 23rd. His dad was the last one to see him between two and three in the morning. To use search dogs to search for Najib and we're able to get an idea of maybe where he was last seen in a neighboring business complex. Those dogs put Juby's last known location at this Albertson's grocery store not far from his home. That's where Juby seems to have vanished without a trace. <laughs> Juby's family fears he's fallen into the wrong hands, either meeting someone while playing video games or when he wandered off on the 23rd. He left behind his cell phone and he walks with a noticeable shuffle. Juby doesn't drive and they say he couldn't have made it far on foot. If you see him, please, under no circumstance, leave him alone, stay with him and call the police immediately. Authorities in Scottsdale and Maricopa County are actively looking for Juby, along with a community of supporters, praying Juby is returned home safely to a family who loves and misses him dearly. And joining me now live tonight is Juby's sister, Josie. Josie, my heart goes out to you and your family right now as you are searching for answers, trying to find Juby. Um, something you said in the last couple of days stuck with me, and, and you said you're convinced that he was kidnapped. Why do you think that? I mean, he's been gone for almost three weeks now. There is no footage of him anywhere. He's just not alone. He doesn't have the capability to drive, to go far. He left all of his belongings. He has the clothes on his back. But the worst thing to say would be his body would have been found by now nearby. He's out there somewhere, and he's just not alone. What was the last thing, Josie, that Juby said to your dad or your brother the night he disappeared? The day before he disappeared, he said to my brother, while he's playing video games with him on live that he would never see him again and he kind of waved it off and um, the next morning he was gone. Has he ever wandered off before? No, never. This, he's never without a family member. He's, like I said, vulnerable. He knows not to be without a family member. He rarely leaves the house. He doesn't like leaving the house. This is very, very abnormal. So tell me, these video games, um, do you know who he was playing with, anybody he may have been talking to or in contact with? As of now, um, forensics is still searching um, everything, all of his electronics, but as of now, there is no evidence he's been speaking with absolutely anyone other than my brother and a couple family friends, um, but they're still looking into it. And boy, I know you've got the community support right now. I've seen hundreds of people show up uh, in support of your family who are praying. The police are looking. Has that formed into any leads that look promising? There are absolutely no leads. Um, we are overwhelmed with love and support from the community, but um, the police have been exhausting all their resources and they're coming to an end with not one clue. And my family is beyond you know, the words of what do we do next and what do we turn to? I know it, it must feel helpless. Um, you know, if, if there is somebody who has Juby tonight, um, what would you say to them about your brother? I would say that my brother is very loved and my family is committed to getting him back. If you can find the kindness in your heart, to help us find him or come forward. Or if you know anything, please call the Scottsdale police. And if you don't, you know, your road will come to an end eventually because we're not going to stop. And I know Juby wants to be with his family. What would you say to him tonight to, to keep his spirits up? Um, that we miss him and we love him so much and our lives, you know, all surround his love and we just need him home and we're not gonna stop looking for him. 
I'm thinking about you, Josie, tonight. Please give my best to your family. And we're on this case, and we're by your side. And uh, we'll continue to so much. we'll continue to follow up to bring Juby home. Josie Monsif, thank you. And if you have any information that could help Juby's family, please contact the Scottsdale Police Department. That number is on your screen right now, and you see Juby's face right there. He is loved, he is missed, and he is missing tonight in Arizona. Help us if you can. We learned about Juby's case because of you at home and the power of social media. So if you have a missing persons case that you think we should be covering, go to our website, newsnationnow.com missing and fill out our form. It is how we heard about Juby's case this weekend.